Who deserves credit for the booming American economy? How much credit do you give President Trump for a strong February, or does President Obama deserve some credit? How much credit does he get versus his, you know, Obama? You know, it's interesting that Republicans say, well, the economy is going gangbusters. Well, yeah, it is. Thank you, President Obama. Wrong. There is one person who deserves credit today, and that's Donald Trump. And it's all thanks to the one thing his critics dislike the most, his big mouth. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Here's what I mean. We're now more than a year into the Trump presidency. Pick any number you want. Jobs, stocks, corporate profits. They're all gangbusters. And it's true that those measures were already strong when Trump took over and have basically continued on a long-term trajectory that started in 2009. But something feels different about the Trump economy. I've created over a million jobs since I'm president. There's a momentum, an energy, a bravado. The stock market is way up again today, and we're setting a record literally all the time. It's as if corporate America, Wall Street, and even blue-collar workers suddenly have their mojo back. We will buy American, and we will hire American. It turns out the only thing the American economy was missing these last 10 years was confidence. And nobody is as confident as Donald J. Trump. President Trump's nonstop boosterism has flipped a switch in the minds of investors and CEOs. He's got their back, and he's delivered with a fat tax cut and aggressive deregulation. And he's been the lucky beneficiary of a rare, coordinated global comeback. But this goes beyond just policy and timing. Trump has become the cheerleader in chief, and you can measure the impact. In the month Trump became president, small business optimism had its biggest gain since 1980. Consumer confidence now stands at a 17-year high. And investor sentiment? There's nothing but bulls out there. It's as if the American economy itself now reflects Trump's own ego. Everything is the biggest. The biggest. And the best. The best. So one year in, the economy is firing on all cylinders. The worry is now turning to that engine overheating. And we'll see if the president can take the heat, if and when this economy cools.